In this video, we're going to go over a few different ways to work with and edit the Divi layouts on your Member Mouse Core pages. The first way is to directly work with the Divi Builder to add, remove, or move around template blocks that we've provided for you in the layout. For example, let's take a look at how you would do this on the Member Home page. The way that we designed this template is we included a number of different modules that we think would be useful for you to move around and place how you want. You'll notice we have discount modules, video modules, and all of these modules can be put and be flexible with Divi's column layout. And using this approach, you can craft a specific homepage that has everything on it that you need. So let's take a look at this in action. If I scroll back to the top here, let's say I wanna delete these top three rows. To do this, I open up the page in the Divi Builder, and then I just one by one delete those top three rows by clicking the delete icon on each row. After doing that and updating the page, when we go back to preview it, we'll see that the only thing that's left is the latest video module and the three videos on the bottom. So now let's say that I wanna add another row and I wanna include on that row two columns, and in those columns include the list of actions module and a discount module to start. So I go back into the editor, click to duplicate a row, delete this element that I don't need, click the columns icon and select the two column layout. Now I add the modules that I want to each column. And in the first column, I will select list of actions. And in the second column, I will select the discount module from my library. I'll go ahead and update the page. And when I go to preview the page, I'll see that there's a new row added with those two modules. Again, I'll go back to my editor and I will click and drag that new row to the top so that it appears above all of the other modules. So this is just a quick demonstration of how you can use these pre-built modules to set up your homepage. And of course, the content in these modules is 100% editable. So while we may be calling this the discount module, it's really just a module that has a headline, a subhead, some text, and a button. A second element that you may want to edit while working on your core pages are smart tags. The example I'm going to show you is adding a custom field to your checkout page. So let's go through the steps for adding a custom field to the checkout page when using the Divi Layout Pack. First, go to your checkout settings, and under custom fields, you'll find which custom field you wanna add. In my case, I'm going to use Untitled 6. Then you click the button in the Form Smart Tag column, copy the Smart Tag from this box, and then go to the checkout page, click Edit with the Divi Builder, and here you've got a couple options. First, you can add it right here in the module in the Visual Builder. You would just choose anywhere in the code that you'd like to add this to. In my case, I would probably add it under the phone number. Or you can click this menu icon here, which displays the page in wireframe mode. Once here, you can double click any of the code boxes. Then within it, you can put the custom field wherever you like. So in my case, I'll put it under the phone number and I'll put a little text here for it as well. Then you'll click the check mark and hit save in the right hand corner. And after you're done with this, you can click exit visual builder. And you'll see here that the custom field is now added to the checkout page. So that's just one example of how you can add, remove, or edit smart tags in the Divi builder. Now, if you ever decide you want to undo the layout pack or you'd like to revert back to the original templates that come with Member Mouse, you can do so by first clicking on the page in your dashboard, finding the page that you'd like to revert back, and instead of editing with Divi Builder, you can just click the Return to Default Editor button up here. First, make sure you're viewing this in HTML mode. Then go to our support center at support.membermouse.com and type in the template you're looking for in this case, the checkout page template, and then just copy all the code and paste it into the text editor within WordPress. After you've got that done, click Update. And now the layout pack formatting for this page has been removed. So those are just a few examples of ways to edit and work with the Divi layout pack for MemberMouse.